Hi guys, Justin here, and uh, we're on top of the sprayer. Uh, I'm gonna fire it up in a minute, and then I'm gonna throw you guys in a time lapse, and I'll, I'll show you filling it. Uh, what I got are these two and a half gallon jugs of Roundup crop oil, and uh, I'm using Sure Start. This is the bean uh, burned down. Uh, you gotta go by your uh, labels to, uh, I mean, I, I can't tell you what to do, so. You gotta go by your labels, so. Um, well, with that, I think I'm gonna get to it. So I uh, I got to look look or edit any video there, and I uh, I lied to you guys. Uh, I think I said Sure Start for beans, and Sure Start is actually a corn chemical. Don't do it. Um, what I'm using, I, I had to pull my sheet here. I use a lot of generics, and uh, it actually be Chloran or first first rate. Um, yeah, that's that's what I was using. On, on the corn, it was a atrazine, accent, and impact uh, mix. But yeah, I just thought I'd uh, clarify that. along here and I'm having lots of electric issues. I got booms that are coming on and off uh, all on their own. I think I've got uh, some ground issues so I'm kind of running it the old way where you just take shut the pump off hydraulically. Um, wind is picking up a little bit so we'll probably uh, Make sure my phone's going. No, another another ground deal. I'm sure it's a ground because I'll have everything and then I won't. And yeah, it just it's, it hasn't been fun. So what we're gonna do is uh, go. With, I think we're gonna redo all as much ground as we can when we uh, get done with this thing. Okay, so what we got here is uh, I'm replacing these weather pack terminals and uh, yeah, you did just see me solder it. Um, just trying to get the, the paste and whatnot off of there. Um, otherwise it kind of gummy going back together. But I do solder in, and I know you shouldn't have to do it, but I do solder in just on account of uh, gravel roads around here they put calcium chloride down and uh, you give that calcium dust any chance to get into anything and it's uh, it's just going to give you problems so uh, yeah and let's see yellow to yellow so red to metal one just push them in when you're said and done uh, some go easier than others and this is one of them that if you get the little kit you just about got it to do these sometimes you gotta clean them out a little bit otherwise they just don't just don't go let's see, let's see. yep there he goes and they should go in real nice and easy if they don't you're gonna have trouble with terminals when you come to collect it there but anyways we'll start uh, start from the beginning here got my little terminal uh, I put just a little bit of uh, flux on there or soldering paste whatever whatever you want to call it just uh, just cleans that one's too long I gotta shorten him just the hair if your if your uh, wire's too long as well, what will happen is you'll get into uh, 
you just set it in your deal there. Um, if it's too long, your, your pins don't want to go together. Um, and you can jam them and have all sorts of issues there too. Weather packs are great, but you know, they're kind of delicate too. They're great until you do them wrong. You do them wrong and they're just frustrating. Let's see, get him bent up. And yeah, I use plumbing torch to solder. I just barely got a fire going, just enough to get them hot. Uh, a regular soldering iron, you can do it, but uh, very not time effective. That should be him. I think oh, one more. There we go. Should be him. Shut our torch off. Get him out of the way. He's already cooled down a little. Get some of that paste off. You can already start sliding your your little insulator up. Give him a little crimp job. And this is a special made for the job pliers. And slide them in. Like I say, they should slide fairly easy. If they don't, you got problems. Just check and make sure they're all in all the way. Give your cap a snap. Now I've done that to all my grounds. And I redid my ground here. That's all new wire. I'm hoping this is, was my main issue here as far as booms doing what they kind of want. Um, one thing I don't like as well is these are all just butt connected and taped. I'm going to take and just replace this pin. Get them in there clean and... Uh, yeah, maybe hopefully by then, by the time I get a few more of these done, we can go spraying. I uh, did check all the valves. They're all working now, or they were before I started uh, messing with these hots, but they should be all right. But to get them out, it's just a matter of pulling that gate open. And then I got a little tube I'm going to have to find. Um, where did he drop? tube and it's supposed to be on a little screwdriver handle and yeah it doesn't take much to fold them over and once they you fold them over they're they're kind of history but you can still get by if you just got that tube it is a special size so just kind of twist them in you got to just push it on your wire and give them a little work until he there he popped in so it should pop out You'd, it's all gentle, gentle with these. It, nothing should be hard and horsed. All gentle. Okay, well, I'm going to keep uh, replacing these. I mean, the little rubber you can just pull out, cut it back, get a new terminal, put a new terminal on, and I'll, uh, I'll get back with you when I got this all done. Okay, another little tidbit for you. Uh, dielectric grease, and it, I don't care who you, you use, but... Uh, That'll keep you, especially after soldering, uh, keep all your terminals clean. Just a little spray in there. and It also helps your wet, your rubber with uh, lubricant just sliding together. And uh, it's also kind of a, a water sealant too, kind of. It's not fully water sealed, but it makes a pretty big difference. It's good. Up, uh, so, uh, the wind's supposed to be dying down to uh, about 10 12 miles an hour here uh, real soon and just judging by the treetops that's about right uh, we're gonna go and try and spray a tank uh, that those two lines they were my foamer if we couldn't hear uh, back by that loud deer I don't know if you can tell her but not but that foam marker down there we're getting a drop about every 20 feet or so 
that's uh, about 20, 30 feet. That's about what it's really supposed to be. Uh, I changed that electric grounding on that. That sure seemed to make a heck of a difference. I don't know if I need to just play a couple more power to that plug somehow. Maybe a solenoid relay and whatnot or what. But yeah. Boom selections have been flawless since I re-terminated all them. It's actually been going pretty good. We are putting down 20 gallons of water an acre and yeah, some might say that that's a lot of water and yeah, it is a lot of water, but I tell you what, the benefit of all that water is uh, very good coverage. the ads here got uh, here dead field the sun's catching it perfect uh, you can actually see it's a hell of a lot of water going down uh, so far where I've been uh, it hasn't been showing real well matter of fact I've been trying to get a lot of video and it's been kind of crap but uh, yeah just the way the, the Sun is I uh, noticed one thing with that uh, foam marker I don't know how well you can see that or not but uh, I'm gonna have to get him out of that. He bends back and gets into that nozzle and I got a feeling it's not real even there. Uh, other than that, been doing good ever since I rerouted that electric. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you. Well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this one. Uh, I think I'm gonna call that on this spraying video. Uh, I do have corn to do. And I don't know, maybe I'll start another one, maybe I won't. I, I'm not so certain. Um, yeah, well, thanks for watching. Liking, commenting, subscribing, all that. And uh, we'll catch you next time.